detect the best visual angle. Detecting the optimal viewing position. Complete. Hi, I'm Mercury. Mercury, your mission is to guard the home security. I will protect your home and family. Warning, a suspicious person detected. Warning, a suspicious person detected. My name is Yazi Mamra. I'm a jazz drummer. I used to work for a major record company. Music lover like me, live in the city. We always use the headphones. Headphones give you a good sound, mobility, and silence. But sometimes I couldn't stand it. Headphones are painful. Leave them on for more than an hour and they hurt. When running, it gets uncomfortable and sweaty. I thought, why not to design a headphone and solve these problems? This is v -shape. V-Share's 3D molded open airframe design allows you to interact with your environment while you're listening to your audio. This is the first pain-free Bluetooth headphone. It doesn't press on your ears, which can cause discomfort. Instead, the 3D geometric frame sits around your ear with minimal body contact. This allows airflow and makes them comfortable to wear for long periods of time. V-Share's core audio technology comes from Yamaha's Mach 5 module, one of Yamaha's most advanced codecs, and enables us to provide superior sound quality. Our headphones have an onboard three-band equalizer that works with all your music apps and allows you to customize the sound to your own personal taste. It's important that you, and only you, can hear the sound of your headphones. V-Share is designed with directional flat speakers that produce amazing sound quality and yet focus the sound directly to your ears to keep what you're listening to private. The airframe keeps you in touch with the sounds around you, so you notice when other people approach or want to talk with you. And without removing your headphones or adjusting your audio, you can carry on a normal conversation. When you want to be undisturbed, the V-Share headphones have an interchangeable closed frame as well for when you want to concentrate or when you're in a loud environment. Each headset is able to broadcast or receive from other headsets. So you can use VShare to share your audio with your friends without disturbing others around you. We hope you can find places where VShare fits your lifestyle. Sam is the reliable security guard who is never grumpy, bored, or sleepy. Sam is autonomous and connected to the alarm system. Sam can verify alarms and detect humans.
is Sam. After seeing Sam in action, we can say he is in fact the ideal solution. With DSS, we want it to be the window to the future. What we're trying to do is change the prosthetics industry so we can offer affordable, functional and beautiful prosthetic devices to amputees. I'm proud of being one-handed, it doesn't make me feel any different. But wearing this, instead of having people come up to me or give me like the sincere look of, oh, you've lost your arm, they go, oh, wow, this is fantastic. And it may, I just like to see people have a smile on their face about it. That's what it's all about for me. Because we're heavily promoting this kind of technology, some people really think like we were producing, you know, augmented arms. And, uh, you know, some fans are, or some moms and so on were, were asking, where can I buy your arm? And unfortunately, we have to say, uh, we're not building any arms, we're just a video game company. But that triggers, you know, the thing where we say, we should do something. It was a really natural fit when they got in touch with us. We were almost expecting it at some point, and we formed this idea to try and turn Adam Jensen's arm into a, a real-life bionic limb. I was actually only born with my left hand, so I've never seen any different, and I've always wanted to have like a robotic hand. I've never said I wanted two hands, just a robotic one, just to feel more cyborg, because it's just so much cooler, especially being into sci-fi and comics and stuff. I developed the first bionic hand when I was 17, just tinkering in my bedroom at my parents' house when I was younger. So when I went to university a few years later, I wanted to take the project a little bit further and found that bionic hands existed for amputees to wear, but they were extremely expensive. And so I used that angle as an excuse to be allowed to create a bionic hand for my final year project at university. And then after university was when I uh, co-founded Open Bionics and we began working on the same problem with a more kind of definitive goal of being able to offer these bionic hands to people at a really affordable price. So this is a custom built one for myself. We use sensors in the top and bottom of my arm. So if I tense my bottom muscles, it will close. And if I loosen up but tense upwards slightly, it will open. We have a fantastic art director. His name is Jonathan Jack Beltet. This guy is a visionary. He's completely crazy. And the way we wanted to depict, you know, a future world was that human augmentations couldn't be like just medical device. We wanted it to be super rewarding. You know, people are wearing this kind of prosthesis in a fashionable way. For their sex, we never wanted to do some gimmicky big uh, robot's hand and so on. We wanted something to touch upon, you know, the high fashion, uh, very refined design, something that looks very slick and very, you know, you could be very proud to wear it. And then you can change all the functions like that. Kind of cool. At this point, we've made a semi-functional prototype. So we've made one that's functional and looks similar to Adam Jensen's hand. The next steps for us will be perfecting the functionality of it so that it works really nicely and it's very good at grasping objects and then making the finish really nice so that it looks the part as well. The design files that we're working on in this project will be open source as well, so people will be able to download them. If they have a 3D printer, they'll be able to make themselves an Adam Jensen arm that will be functional and, and they'll be able to use it. Uh, this accessibility to people who have their both hands uh, and so on. So we partnered with Intel with their RealSense division and Razer with their Stargazer division also. Multiple points on the hand in motion is captured in real time. The result is a one-to-one -one mirroring between the user's hand and the bionic hand. We want to show limb different people that the products and devices that they're seeing in, in science fiction, in gaming and in movies can become reality and can become reality very soon. It's mind-blowing for a lot of people but I cannot wait for the future of this. Everything we're doing is somehow a new step forward. We're now defining the future. 